Hello campers. So toast here again, um, doing the sandstone trail for the second attempt. Um, as I said on my first video, my plan is that I'm going to do the whole of the sandstone trail today and tomorrow. Uh, today being Saturday the 29th of August in the not so fun year of 2020. Um, I've just crossed over the footbridge um, that gets me onto the Langollen Canal. Uh, the plan is that I'm going to walk this down, I think it's about three miles, four miles, until you leave the, the uh, canal and then carry on following the sandstone trail. I obviously got lost last time, I'm planning not to do that again today. Uh, I also got drenched last time and I know where to avoid that this time. Um, let's see where we get up to. I'll do another couple of videos later on in the day and give you some updates for the stitch together before I post this out. Thanks very much, speak to you later. Hello again folks. So this is the end of the Langollen Canal section of the Sandstone Trail. I'm about to leave the canal and head off cross country. It's taken me about an hour to get to this point. Um, so theoretically that's about a tenth of the way on the course. Um, about another hour and I should get to where I got lost last time. So let's uh, see where I get to. Wish me luck. Hey guys, as you can see behind me, I'm just coming through Chad's farm. So my calculations, this is about a quarter of the way to my planned overnight stop. Um, I'm actually getting through this a lot quicker than I thought today. I think that might be because I already know this part of the route. Um, if I do keep this pace up, I might be overshooting the planned stop. Let's see what we get to. Um, but I reckon I'm going to slow down after I get off the bits I know. So, let's see what we get to. Speak to you later. Hey guys, so what you see here is the entrance to the field where it all went wrong last time around. It's only taken me about an hour and a half to get here this time. I think it took about two hours, two and a quarter hours last time. Um, and I've noticed a couple of interesting things. Firstly, the wind, as you can probably hear, is a lot higher today than it was two weeks ago, which is actually kind of nice, keeping my temperature down. Uh, second thing, the water underfoot is a lot higher and a lot more than two weeks ago, which worries me that where I got drenched in this field is going to get even worse. Uh, the third thing I've noticed is there's a lot less footfall this week than there was two weeks ago, which either means that this field is now impassable and nobody's walking this stretch, or it just means that people are having a nice lazy bank holiday. Um, let's see what happens. Speak to you in a bit. So the weirdest thing. The pond or swamp or whatever you want to call it that I took a dip in last time is now bone dry even though there's more water on the ground. I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, anyway, got myself past there which is nice. Found my way here and as you can just see there, that is the sign that I missed last time I tried the sandstone trail. Instead of going across this bridge, I carried on up this field and across the one behind it. Um, which is where I went wrong. Shit happens, never mind. Um, so we're gonna have to see where I get to from here now. This could be fun. Right, catch up later guys. Hey guys, well and truly not lost this time. Uh, I'm actually very nearly at the Bickerton Hills. If I just pan round, that you can see behind me there, they are the Bickerton Hills, which is the bit that I really wanted to see last time I tried this. Um, just run into a couple of other walkers. Uh, I think I've seen six now since my last video, which makes me feel a bit happier. Uh, the two that I've just bumped into are actually going the same way as me. Uh, they were about a mile ahead of me and they actually went swimming in that little uh, swamp that I found last time I tried it. Um, good to know that I didn't avoid it for no good reason. Um, in actual fact, that was, that was well avoided by all accounts. The guys back there are just changing the socks, they got that wet. Um, all in all, timing wise, I seem to be doing quite well for the for my pace, although I am slowing my roll a little bit. Um, let's see what the Bickerton Hills have to say. I've been looking forward to this bit for a while, so no doubt there's going to be some more videos in a minute. See you later. Well folks, I made it to the top of Bickerton Hill, which is something I didn't manage last time around. You can see over my shoulder the views from the top of Bickerton Hill, this is just okay, it's a bit cloudy, but I don't care because the clouds keep us off me and I do burn quite badly. 
Um, it is absolutely stunning up here. I'm so glad that I gave up two weeks ago um, because I would not have enjoyed myself half as much as I have done so far today. Um, hoping that uh, this is about halfway to my stop over point for the night. Um, hoping I'm going to get there easily enough. Um, I've still got Be Peckerton and Beeston Hill to deal with um, before I finally get the, uh, the flat walk from Beeston all the way up to Ashwoods. We'll see where we get to. But this is beautiful. I'm just loving, loving every second of this. That view is just amazing. Right, catch up with you later, guys. Hey, guys. Going on out of breath. Um, so, by my math, I've been walking for about four hours. And I've done around about 12 miles. Uh, which actually means three mile an hour, give or take. So it's still looking like an 11 hour hike to do the whole thing. Um, I've just got off Bickerton Hill. I'm now at the start of the Peckerton Hills piece of the walk. Uh, which is another bit I was looking forward to. And more importantly, on the low branch. More importantly, I have now walked further today than I did on my failed attempt two weeks ago. So that's an important milestone for me. Um, see where I get to from here. See you later. So I do believe that I am now at Rawhead Point, which is a lookout point on the Sandstone Trail. It's still beautiful. That over there, that you can see the other hill is Bickerton Hill that I've just come over. Um, I'm now actually on Peckerton Hill. I'm sweating buckets, but I'm still having fun. All right, further updates later. Getting a bit fed up with sandstone steps. There's lots of them. If you're going to do the walk, get tra practicing your steps. Beautifully cut into the the walk, though. Hey guys, so I'm currently walking around the bottom of Peckerton Hill. Um, I know it's Peckerton Hill because I recognise it. We've spent enough time here over the years. Me and my wife actually got married here 15 years ago now. Um, and we were looking forward to coming back here for our anniversary this year, but unfortunately the lockdown kind of scuppered that. There's always next year though, so we'll figure something out. Um, still making good time. It's... Yeah, I've been walking for about five hours, five and a half hours, give or take now. Um, let's just move this over here because I'm getting glare from behind me. Um, so yeah, five, five and a half hours-ish. Um, I still reckon I'm going to overshoot me originally designated camping spot, but that's not a problem. Uh, let's just see how far I can get to. The more I do today, the less I do tomorrow, which will be fine. Right, catch you later. Hey guys, attempt two has failed, um, but this time due to my body giving up on me more than anything else. I've just had a bit of a bad fall coming off the Peckerton Hills and tweaked my back quite bad. Um, thankfully I've got to, uh, or nearly got to, Beeston Castle's uh, main entrance and my good lady wife's going to come and pick me up from there. Um, well, that's a shame because I was doing really well. One, one misplaced foot and you're over, which is exactly what's happened. Um, never mind. I'll probably do another video later on. See you for now. Great place for my final video of the day. Um, I'm definitely goosed. My, uh, my back is well and truly knackered. Um, basically coming down off Peckerton Hill, I've slipped in the most random of places. It wasn't even particularly steep, so I've not fallen, I've just slipped. Um, and in slipping, I've twisted me back um, fairly badly while carrying all my camping gear and everything. Um, I've hobbled my way thanks to my walking stick um, to Beeson Castle, which is what's right behind me. Well, this is the entrance gate to Beeson Castle. And I'm gonna stay here until my wife can come and pick me up. Um, oh, but it's been great up until the last couple of hundred yards. Um, we'll have to try from here next time. 
because at least I've seen the bits that I wanted to see that I've never done before. So maybe in a few weeks, once I'm feeling a bit better, I'll try again from here. Thanks for watching this far, if you have done. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Um, catch you all again next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.